reflections out in that water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sorry. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off track. Possession, guys. We're talking about possession. Alright, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, guys. Uh, new devlog. I think this will be four. I think this is devlog number four. I'm starting to lose count. We're getting up there. Um, today, I wanted to... Uh, little game not gameplay but let's just say a little uh reveal uh functionality i want to uh show everyone and you Corey. i want to show you guys the possession system um, i'm excited <laughs> the, uh <laughs> we uh we've been spending uh the dev team has been spending a lot of time on this <laughs> it's it's already gotten some good feedback on twitter we've been taking a little bit of feedback as well um and ingesting it into the feedback loop but um so far it's been uh, we've, get, we've been getting a lot of like oh well that's kind of new i haven't seen that before so um we're really really excited to kind of show this off so a little backstory so in the previous in the previous devlog we talked about how the ai bots that have been programmed to do stuff right so this is a bot game. This is a mech game, depending on your definition of mech. This is a heavy metal game, but metal, metal. they are not necessarily uh, they are not necessarily uh, AI controlled themselves. The concept here is that the AI bots are these little tiny little bots. These we have two different variations. We have two different designs uh, for those AI bots right now, and they're little little guys, and they have a USB plug on them. No, I'm just kidding. It's not USB, but it's this little plug, and they can interface with things. So you control, you are control of one of these AI bots, and you can go around and <clears throat> plug yourself into different things and start controlling those things. Right? It could be, it could be a static construction module, and you turn it off and dumps a bunch of building materials on the ground, right? It could, or it could be uh, movables or it could be, it could be like a vehicle or something, which we'll, much later we'll get into that. But, or it could be something we're calling exoskeletons. And that's what I'm going to show you today is these uh, larger bots, so to speak. So the big, big heavy metal right now, all of these are basically shells. They're very powerful shells, but they're shells. So these AI bots jump in and out of these um, constructs, these exoskeletons, right? And this is planned to be part of the multiplayer experience too. You can jump in and out of these um, as you're trying to kill your friends. So um, I'd love to show you if you have some time. I'd love to see it. Let's see it. All right. So here we are inside of uh, just kind of a prototype we're putting together. Um, I threw on the weather system just because it looks so damn cool. <laughs> I got it only because we. I just got this working. I just want to show you when you walk through the water. Look at those reflections out in that water. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, sorry. Getting off track. Possession, guys. We're talking about possession. Okay. Uh, you'll see there's a this little AI bot, right? This is a little little plug bot here, and you can see there's a little plug underneath it, right? Um, if you okay. come up, if you come over here, you can see the other AI bot. He's like a ball. He can roll up in a ball. So both of these guys have interfaces on them, and they'll be able to jump to static stuff uh, or exoskeletons. And I apologize for the day-night cycle. I forgot to turn, I'll turn off the day-night cycle for the next one. <laughs> so, it's actually, so it's actually dark here. But you can't... I love, I love the colors, though. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So that's one thing we really are getting away from, right? And again, I'm going to call out our friend Matt for this, because he's always like, oh, why do action games always have to be gray? <laughs> Yeah. Why is it? Br <laughs> War counter pilot. Exactly right. So I I could not could not agree more. This is an example of the uh, I laid out five different exoskeletons we have. So over here we have the tank. This is called the Goliath. Um, and you'll see when you get close to close enough to them, we you highlight right. So when you highlight, that means um, you'll be able to basically take them over or possess them. And over here you'll see we have the arachnid uh, spider. Um, this is the original. This is the training, training exoskeleton. So when the player first starts the single player co-op game, they're gonna learn in this guy. And yeah, he's, he's gonna be like an old model. And he's missing his arm. <laughs> um, this is actually one of the first things we modeled way back in the day. Um, and then finally, the scout. The scout is meant to be a super, uh, super fast, agile you know get ahead of things get behind the lines kind of report back mark targets right prepare for the onslaught of uh, other exoskeletons now if we come here again if we go up close to one and and you'll see every exoskeleton right at the top see those green at the top middle and the thing they have a port so those are the interface ports and they'll probably blink or something that when we're all said and done but when you come up to it you can Ooh. jump onto it and then you plug in right and then boom you, you take over 
the actual exoskeleton you can walk around. Once you possess something, you can then you you can dismount, right? So you you drop back out, and a power the bot powers back down, and you can you can keep going. So each and every one of these can be possessed. And if I go, for instance, to um, and we put a lot of time into it because you'll see with the bigger ones, it's not just a simple jump to the port. <laughs> and this is actually something that's I, I cannot get enough of this. So, for instance, we're coming at it from the front, right? It's, we're not just going to have this mechanic where you have to be in a 90 degree angle behind it. You know, what right. I mean? yeah. so you can actually possess these things from anywhere. So if I come over here and from the front, right, I jump up, jump up in there, Ooh. jump down there jump up nice. in there now none of this yeah. is linear all of this all of this is absolutely random um we, we okay. do assign jump points but there's a lot of different jump points and there's a lot of uh a lot of uh path selection i guess depending on picking the best path and the closest path to to whatever you do so um you'll, you'll see there's a lot of variation especially when we get to the bigger ones we also it's a little buggy too we got the aiming aiming so, so jump off and then jump back down Boom. It really feels like Mars. Is this game based in Mars? No. <laughs> so is there? We should have talked about this in the story, but um, the, it's not a day-night cycle, but it's a two-planet cycle on this planet. So there's a... Right, as of right now, the Carlo Palace can change, but there's one planet, there's a dark red planet that circles, and then there's a light, lighter planet um, that circles. So they continually rotate around, so you don't have day-night cycles, but you do have a cycle, uh, two different cycles. So this just happens to be basking in the glow of the the red planet cycle. Hop on up, little guy. All right, so coming to the Goliath, you'll notice a little bit of the uh, more advanced pathing we have. So boom, boom, boom. Boom. Yeah. Right. And then you can yeah. get back. Very cool. Yep. And then you can get back down. Come back down. And then if I approach it from the front. Love it. I love it. Because nothing drove me nuts more than a game telling me that I had to come at something from a certain <laughs> angle, especially when it comes to like assassinations and. Like Assassin's Creed did this a lot as well, if I recall correctly. It don't. Uh, and it, <laughs> Sorry, I it's interrupted. Just, you. It's an aggravating, aggravating uh, feature that they uh, just stuck with for a long time. We, we absolutely started there, and we absolutely said to ourselves, "Wow, we're like one of those developers that are putting these artificial limits on our game <laughs> for, for no purpose, <laughs> right? Because it doesn't make sense. Like, why, if if these are truly sentient, they should be able to attach from anywhere, right? So, anyway, so." up there so see how there's a different path this time it took the arm up so there's a, there's a lot of different possible paths um so the last one i'll show you is the tank real quick tank is the most involved obviously there's a lot of stuff to to so i'll show you here Oop, we'll skip boom right boom so it took took that path up now watch the secondary watch the secondary path. Oh, it takes back down back down just a bit of a tease. I want to see that thing shoot some missiles. Uh, oh, that's well, yeah. That was, we'll save that for the attachments. Okay. So here we go from the front, up there, up there, and then into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I love that one. He climbs up the little little channel between the the launchers launcher bays. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's um. There's still we're still fine tuning things. There's still going to be other things, obviously, you can attach to. But um, that's one of the concepts. That's one of the concepts behind. I mean, how cool does that look? It's, I mean, it looks awesome. Unreal looks Five. Awesome. Unreal Five is just it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a pretty good engine for. It's a pretty good engine. Yeah, so this is this is kind of, in a nutshell. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but um, a uh, quick preview of of the kind of mechanic, right? The mechanics you're gonna be playing here. So when you're in multiplayer, right, you could be coming calling down one of these guys from support in the sky, right? And you have to jump into it before you can start battle, right? Or you could start battle in one and switch to another one, or right? You can knock. We're, we're planning on being able to knock your enemies out, right? In certain yeah. multiplayer. So if I can fire on you, if I can knock you out of the port, maybe I can just you know, can, can take over your bot or something. You know what I mean? So, and when you're smaller, obviously you're going to be a lot more vulnerable. 
hundred percent. Yeah, the, these AI bots do have little defense. The, they have little tricks up their sleeve that will help protect them. So, I will I will say that. That's a, a quick pre- preview of the uh, possession system. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, a lot more soon. Um, again, you guys can follow us uh, on Twitter, uh, TikTok. Please stop by and, uh, Discord. We take any and all feedback. Um, we've already had folks come in and uh, give us some feedback on things which we've implemented. So this is this is not a closed <laughs> development here. This is very much something that hey if you have a good idea we're willing to um listen and possibly implement so stop on by very cool all right Corey, thanks for helping out my pleasure all right later guys